Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It is Lisbon Player Profile time, and it is Cole Tullis, the junior captain of this football team for the Lisbon Blue Devils. Cole, welcome aboard. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, dude. So let's talk. I mean, you guys this year have certainly taken a step forward. I mean, this is something you got. It just looks more comfortable on the field. It looks like you guys have gelled, uh, and it looks like obviously you're young, but you're growing each and every game. We talked about the health issues with some of the other guys. For you, how do you think this team has progressed and why do you think they progressed so quickly over this year? Uh, I think, like you said, we've get, we've taken it game by game all season. Um, obviously, we're a young football team. We got a lot of sophomores playing in roles that are big roles in the team and uh, they don't have a lot of exposure. But like I said, we're taking it week by week. Uh, our big focus is getting better after every game, every practice. And we got a bunch of guys that want to get better. We, you know, we got guys that are bought into the program. And I think in these past few years, we haven't really had that. And that's why we get better, because we want to get better. You mentioned the experience, the exposure that the young guys need to get. The only way to get experience is to get experience. So for you, when did things start slowing down? Obviously, as a captain this year, as a guy that, that is leaned upon highly, both for what you do on the field and off the field, when did things slow down for you and start making sense at the varsity level? Um, I'd say about halfway through my last season. Uh, last season, I didn't really play much my freshman year. Um, so last season was my first season, and I took a little bit to get used to. Varsity football is really fast-paced. Mm -hmm. um, it's a big it's a big jump from middle school and JV. Very fast-paced environment. you got to adapt and learn on the go. And I think once you get it down, it just kind of – comes naturally after that you know what I mean Once what, you what was the biggest challenge for you in that that whole process I mean it, was it was it the film was it the speed of the game was it just understanding the play the playbook what was it it was playing itself um, okay because I'm a little guy you yeah know, I'm 5'7 180 uh, and I was playing right guard so I got big boys up there that oh, I'm yeah. going against and it really you got to learn to be tough if you're a little guy and you're playing a position like that you got to learn to hang with them. So I think that that really helped me um, get used to the game. You know what I mean? How did your play when you were up front kind of transition your way into the backfield now? I mean, do you have a better appreciation for those big boys? Definitely, definitely. Now that I know that how, how much of a challenge <laughs> it is, it uh, definitely makes me like them a little more. Um, it, were, you all, were you a ball carrier before and then transitioned to offensive line? I played uh, tailback my freshman year. I was a little little skinnier. Um, and then that winter I bulked up, got some uh, got some muscle on me, yeah. and I played – put me at guard. So when, it, when a coach comes up to you, and that's a selfless move, to go from being a ball carrier and a guy that scores touchdowns and is looking for end zones to a guy that is just in that gauntlet every single play, what was it like for you? I mean, w was it a lot of a lot of thinking? Was a lot of, um, you know, kind of breaking it down in your head, do I really want to do this? Or was it easy, like – I'm going to take one for the team and do whatever and play wherever the team needs me. It was easy. It was one of the easiest decisions of my life. I just wanted to help the team play as big of a role as I could and uh, do what we needed to win some games. When you talk about, you know, you look at guys on this team, there's a great group of, of guys that have come before you and worn that Lisbon jersey. Who are some of the people that you look up to? Um, I'd say last year, Trevor Sifke, our quarterback. Of course. Uh, of course, you know, everyone looks up to the quarterback, but – he, uh, out of that group of seniors, I'd say he had the most uh, drive. You know, he w he wanted to win. He wanted to be great. And I really I admire that in a person. What traits do you hope that Trevor kind of, you know, rubbed from his shoulder pads to yours and you, you can take with you over this year and next? Um, his his leadership, you know. Nobody, nobody really talks about the leadership side of uh, a good football player, but – uh, at the end of the day, he was always there to kind of rally the team and uh, make sure that we were hanging in. This team seems to be more like a family than than some of the other ones that I've seen across the board. What is, how is that made? Is it something that you guys have to actively, you know, go into and to be a family, or does it just come natural because of what you guys do and how much you're around each other? It's all made in the off season, all in the off season. It's all made between the guys who are uh, in the weight room you know, on the field in the winter, getting the footwork in, lifting the weights, all that stuff. When you work out and you really dedicate yourself to the team, you dedicate yourself to each other, and I think it just comes naturally. You just naturally become a family. 
All right, uh, some off the wall questions for you. We just had one that was reservations for four. Uh, do you golf at all? I have tried. I'm not very good, so I kind of gave that up. All right, so we just had reservations for four at a restaurant. We're going to take you out on a golf scramble. All right. So you've got you and three others that you're going to spend the next eight hours with. Are you – who are you, you bringing with you? Who are you inviting to the course? And, and, and uh, what are you guys talking about? I uh, I got to say my first would be Christopher Nolan. Christopher you know Nolan? He's Christopher a, Nolan. Is he a director? He directs movies. Okay. You know, uh, he's Is it Batman? Made, Yes, he's made Batman, uh, Interstellar. Okay, he's one of my favorite ones. Why Christopher it, Nolan? Because he's his movies are. I just I really like his movies, and I just want I would want to talk to him about them, and you know what's his inspiration for some of the stuff he's made, and I just think it would be interesting. Fair enough. All right, so we got Christopher Nolan. Who else? Zach Bryan. He's my favorite favorite uh, music artist. Okay, so yes. is he bringing the guitar? What's he What's he doing? Oh yeah, definitely. He's got to right. play some play some tunes. He's out entertaining you, and he he gets the he gets the aux cord. I'm sure. Oh, definitely. Okay, definitely. and then who's the last one? Last one. This one makes a little bit more sense this than the one yeah, before. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. This is tough. I'd say. Uh, I don't know. There was Jesus, LeBron Jesus, James, LeBron. and George Washington. That's, that's, that's a hard lineup to beat. <laughs> He's swinging a hot bat. Yeah. Um, I, I really don't know. I, those two kind of just popped right into my head. Maybe, it's obvious uh, you guys aren't really playing golf. No, yeah, I know. <laughs> You're just there for a, a good time. A lot, of, a lot of talking and stuff. I'd say probably uh, C.J. Stroud. Okay. C.J. Stroud, why C.J.? I've been watching him a lot in the NFL recently. You know, he's a really great quarterback and right. he's impressing he, me. Um, so I just want to talk to him about football, you know what I mean? Fair enough. About how, what uh, what it was like to play at Ohio State, my favorite favorite school. Obviously, we're in Ohio. Um, and just talk to him about the game, know about the game. Where do you want to end up? Do you want to end up at Ohio State? Uh, maybe, you know, if the opportunity presents itself, I'd be willing to go. Are you a guy that wants to play football at the next level? I don't think I will. Really? Yeah. Just you just want to hang it up after high school and, and yeah. enjoy the rest of your life. Yeah. As a student. Yeah. Fair enough. What do you want to study? Anything special? Uh, criminology. Criminology. Go, yeah. And what do you want to do with that? I want to be a U.S. Marshal. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. All right, we're gonna end it right there before <laughs> I incriminate myself. Uh, dude, thank you so much. Yep, Appreciate you, you so me. much. Best of luck to you on Friday night.